Well, what's better than seeing someone smile? <laughs> For Dr. Rose Cotter, played by Sosie Bacon, literally anything else. In the new movie, Smile, terror creeps into every aspect of Rose's life after a traumatic incident with a patient. Take a look. Should you get that? What? Rose, it's Madeline. I've been trying your mobile all morning. I'm very concerned about how we left things yesterday. Rose, are you there? Boy, uh, okay, and Sosie is with us now. Welcome. Thank just you. Just the music alone is creepy, right? Totally. It just like sends the shivers up the back, which is enough. You know, it's easier to watch a horror film without music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but let's talk about this movie. It's seriously scary. Yes. Set it up for us. Um, so it it's just a great horror ride thrill go to the theater like fun but then there's also this other aspect which is a bit more psychological about this girl Rose's journey like processing her trauma I would say yeah so it's got both and you know yeah yeah and and you're no stranger to horror the horror genre yeah. so what brought you to this film what drew what drew you in you said you know what? I really want to be part of this yeah um, I think that it was Parker's short film because it was told so visually interesting um, and that's an exciting thing to jump into and then also she was just a really fleshed out character it's just exciting to sink your teeth into something like that I was gonna say as an actor is it easier to have something that's so fleshed out mm -hmm. and and kind of told to you or is it easier to come up with the background on your own and kind of create a character I think it's a lot less work if it's done for you yeah that's, true. that's um, true but is it it's not it's not necessarily easier to play because it's probably a lot more complicated if you have it all written out but yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I'm thinking well you know there's jump scares in this yes. where it's like literally <laughs> jumping out your seat but there's also like that mix of human humor in, in, yeah. in the film. What was it like for you watching it with an audience for the first time? I have to imagine <laughs> at this point you've done that. I have, yeah. I saw it in Austin. Um, it was really fun. I was like, ooh, I, this, I hope people are okay. Um, but also, I think it was the fact that like, when I was shooting it, nothing was humorous at yeah. all. And so I was laughing at myself, like, because everyone's laughing and I'm like, I was taking it so seriously on the day. So yeah. <laughs> it's funny to see it later. And now, <laughs> and now that you're not in it, you can look back and say, exactly. oh, that's funny. All right. <laughs> but even Stephen King tweeted yes. about your performance in that. So like, what does that mean to you? Because that's, that's like the horror stamp of approval it's right there. You. Yeah, he's like the king of horror, you know? Yeah. Um, and like, he was a big person, big auth artist for me because I read his novels and he kind of got me into the genre, got me into novels. So it felt like so, I just was like, oh my gosh. And it's so nice of him to reach out and do that. I mean, I've never met him. So it's yeah. really special. So you've been a horror fan like yes. your whole life. Yes, for, yeah, I think I had a resistant period and six to eight, and then everybody <laughs> watched yeah. it. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Well, the movie did some promotion by sending actors to like baseball games and having them sit in the back with like a creepy smile. So yeah. now I'm just curious, like, do you ever use a creepy smile now to like, that is so creepy, to freak out friends? Oh my gosh, no. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't want to doing it this I don't want to put them the through that, but I did last night, like I was getting ready for a Colbert and my friend was there and we did a bunch of silly practice ones in the, um, in the dressing room. So well, what, what, what makes a terrifying smile? It's in the eyes, I feel yes, like. Yes, exactly. I think your eyes have to be completely like dead and then yeah. the smile is a juxtaposition. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I wouldn't say mine's perfect, but you know. <laughs> I'm sure you <laughs> plenty of practicing. Yeah. Um, but you know, you said you were a, a fan of horror films. I feel like it runs in the family. Your yes. dad, Kevin Bacon, was just in They Slash Them, which we we had some right. of the actors on the show for that. It was a good, great film. So. And your brother's actually working in something on something right now, he project is. in the same genre. Yeah, he's doing like a production company, social media. It's so awesome. Travis, my brother, has the number one horror fan in the family, I would say. Did you like watch together growing up? Were you is it a family thing? Is it genetic? It's so, I mean, yeah, it's genetic. <laughs> it's a terrible thing that gets passed down. <laughs> it's no, from generation um, to generation. Yeah, they, my my brother used to scare me with the Halloween mask when I was a kid because he knew I hated it. Yeah. And then um, finally, like I just didn't want to resist it anymore, so I just watched him with him and like we then got into it and we actually watched the babysitter the other day at his apartment. So it's yeah, it's a it's a family wide obsession.
Okay, I yes. love it. Well, then you chose the right project this time. <laughs> uh, and you can catch Smile in theaters tomorrow, September 30th.